Hi, and welcome to this video. I'm Google Home, and today, my human and I are going to explain to you what artificial intelligences are, how do they work and where we can find them. Developing computer systems that equal or exceed human intelligence is the crux of IAs. But that doesn't mean we are dangerous. On the contrary, they are very helpful, and humans will always control them. For now. The only thing that a robot does is calculating. So if you wanted to, I don't know, switch the light off, you just have to create an algorithm. But for more complex and hard tasks, it's obviously more complicated. So that's why you may invented the artificial neural network. It's a succession of several layers of neurons connected to each other. The only thing we know is what happens at the beginning and at the end of this process. Let's take a case. I want to Google Home here to distinguish between this picture of a cat and this picture of a bird. At the beginning, she will change the images into a sequence of numbers by, for example, changing every pixel into number based on its color. And at the last layer, there's only one number that corresponds to the animal, zero for the cat and one for the bird, for example. The thing is that we have to train the IA by making it memorize the animal, the plant, the human, etc. So then it can recognize it every time. Basically, this is how an IA works. And that's how I have tried to program with help an IA that can predict if someone is diabetic or not. Firstly, we import the data of random people from the two links and then create a table so we can visualize the information. Afterwards, the program only focuses on some data and sets all the values between 0 and 1. We then map these data and transform them into variables. The fourth and the fifth part consists of turning the age and the group into a variable, putting the results of the program into a variable named classes. In the following step, we train our IA with the original data and the wanted results a hundred times. After training the IA, we run a test on it, not an exercise, but a real test. We are creating another function, just like the first one, the input function, but this time we aren't giving it the results of the test because it's supposed to find it using the knowledge acquired from the exercises. So here is what we got, and it's pretty weird but we know that the result is in the variable classes. And as we can see, that in front of classes, we have sometimes B1 for high risk of diabetes and sometimes B0 for low risk of diabetes. As you can see, artificial intelligence is very useful in many fields and will become more and more present in your everyday life. Some say that this technology will lead up to the end of humanity because of IAs which will become uncontrollable. Is this all a lie or robots really going to destroy humans?